What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Gang, gang. This is serious. Wow! What the fuck? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Kevin to turn on this YouTube shit. Hey man, say man, your boy is back on this YouTube shit. More motivated than ever, bruh. Your boy is putting in that motherfucking work. Y'all niggas been killing it, man. Like these videos up and subscribe, man. We ain't finna let these niggas keep on hitting us on top of the head, man. We gonna keep on fighting. We gonna keep on pushing, man. Y'all niggas up on this bitch, man. We here for a reason. I see some you dig. Straight hood and outside shit, man. Your boy is on this bitch, and we finna turn the fuck up, my guys. We finna, uh, I'm finna make this video. I'm finna let y'all niggas know what the fuck is about to go down, man. Your boy has been walking around for a little bit. I'm trying to get to the spot where I'm gonna talk about this shit, man. I'm finna talk about, man, shout out to all the people. Who helped out the hood, man. Shout out to all the people who helped the hood, you know what I'm saying? Growing up as a kid, man, it was tough. It was so goddamn tough, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming up as a kid, nigga didn't have a lot of food to smack on. A nigga did not have a lot of clothes. A nigga did not have a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of money, a lot of everything, you know what I'm saying? But. Your boy, your boys, and your people, we have su we survived, you know what I'm saying? We survivors in the hood, you dig? Ah! Yes, sir, your boy, um, it, this shit bring back memories, you know what I'm saying? It's not always about killing and police brutality, you know what I'm saying? Or, or stealing or some bullshit. There's always, there's some good times in the hood, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I'm going to tell y'all some good times, man. You know what I'm saying? People you, people will help us out and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the park. Tyler Rose Park. That's one of the spots. That's one of the spots that helped us out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like more than people can think of shit. Coming up as a kid, nigga, what? We used to walk up to we used to walk up to the park. And we used to get them little lunch dinners and shit. Yo boy was grubbing, grubbing. What? We used to get the food. They used to have like quesadillas. Hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, chili cheese, dogs, all types of shit, bruh. And your boy used to, we used to come up here, me and my sister, we used to come up here and we used to get the free meals and shit, bruh. We'd be up in this bit for like five, six hours, bruh. Because you know, it'd be other kids up here and it'd be the people from the city and shit. And you know what I'm saying? We just come up here every day and they'll give us food. And you know, we, 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 we made a relationship with the people and shit. There are uh, people at the park, the older people, they made a relationship with, our, with, with my parents and shit, my dad and shit. And they, they, they just fixed this goddamn road. Look at this. Bad guy, the phone cut off, man. I don't know why I did that. But I'm going to show y'all this goddamn road. I had to walk all the way back here to show y'all this goddamn road. They really fucked up this road. Bruh, they literally been fixed on this goddamn road for like, because it, like, it was like a month ago or two. And they already fucked it up. That's why niggas tires be getting fucked up, bruh. That's why niggas be getting on flats and shit, man. But like I was saying, man, before this camera cut off and shit. Like I was saying, man, we get we get food from these motherfuckers. And, you know, we really value that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have a lot of food. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, if we had some food, bruh, we'll smack on the motherfucking bologna sandwiches. We'll smack on the syrup sandwiches. We'll smack on the mayonnaise ketchup. Um, Just... And we got so bad, we didn't try to make Big Macs, our bologna and shit, because we had nothing to eat and shit. But then, eventually, that shit, was, all that shit we had, the, the bread would run out. <laughs> so we would be starving in that bit. But we get these food from here, and they give us, like, um extra extra packs and shit. So we like, damn, you know what I'm saying? We got that food, and we we eat, we eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause the park, the park would have a lot of food, and I guess the kids, they eat up there too. But a lot of them, a lot of kids didn't get, get then come up there sometimes, and they have like extra food. They have watermelon and shit. So we be, we be extra litty, you know what I'm saying? When there was ways, when there was times when we didn't have no food. I mean, the end, like, they, like, cause the park was only open during the summer though, so it's not like we always had a, a thing full of food 
come and just go up to the park and get some food. Hell no, because once the summer came, that shit is, once the summer is, is over, that, that shit is shut down. So, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, we had school and shit. You know what I'm saying? And school helped us out a lot. But I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all a spot. You know what I'm saying? Every hood got to have this spot. And this spot right here, I don't know what it was, but this shit right here, it, 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 it coming up as a kid, bro, and seeing this shit, I, I didn't even expect this shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, because we know we live, we live like on the main, Martin, okay, it's Martin Luther King Street, man. If you ain't got that street, man, I don't know if you in the hood, man. We grew up on that street and shit, and it was super litty, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we got them, we got the main traffic and shit. You know what I'm saying? They come through that bit, and it be crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So we, it's like we always got supported and shit, and we just have to just keep on pushing. Cause we, if we, if we gave up, you know what I'm saying? What's the point? We ain't gonna get supported and shit. So we kept on pushing and shit to get what we can get. In, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Look at this. But they just fucking up our shit left and right. I don't understand this shit. But your boy finna, um, finna go to the street. I finna show y'all what it look like most of the time and shit. I'm gonna talk to my cousin. What's up, cousin Larry? Hey, man. What's going on, man? Chilling. How you been up to me? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm just recording and shit. But yeah, like I was saying this shit, man. That's my cousin and shit, you know what I'm saying? We, um, in this bit talking, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, Martin Luther King Street, you did. It's one of the best spots, you know what I'm saying? That can just like, because, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all why, bruh. We had, uh, we had, um, fucking parades and shit, bruh. That's the only thing that made living in the hood, especially on Martin Luther King Street, so fucking exciting sometimes. This is our street, Martin Luther King Street. You know what I'm saying? This is the rest where I grew up anyway. You feel me? Some light, you dig? Some light, you feel me? We grew up on this street and shit. It's, bro, they used to have so they used to have so many fucking parades and shit on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? We wake up as a kid, nigga. We see all these people out here. This one, my grandma stayed over here. This is my grandma stayed. We stayed here too with, with my grandma. RIP here, you know what I'm saying? But um, we come through this bitch, and boy, did we wake up early in the morning, bruh. And they, they, they're like, get prepared, get prepared. And we like, what you talking about? They're like, get prepared. And shit, they used to give us like, we used to get the bags, and we used to get like, they used to come out there with all them down cars, them horses, them people. But they throw a shit ton of candy. I'm telling you, wake up as a kid, bruh. Thinking about that, the fucking parades, bro. We were like, damn, why the fuck did we get candy? You know what I'm saying? Why did they just... But it, no, I know it went to a lot of people, though, but it didn't go through every section. It came on our street. So we like, damn, we get candy? And shit, that shit is amazing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Martin Luther King Street was, was, a, was a big meaning to a nigga because... Because Martin Luther King Street got so much value to it. The name, the meaning... And the hood, you know what I'm saying? The hood know. The hood know. If you on Martin Luther King Street, man, it's a, it's a, it's a, you you went through some shit, but you gonna keep on pushing. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying shout out to all the people who helped the hood out, because you know we even when we was in school and shit. Even when we were in school and shit, we got we got bags full of full, full of food and shit. And and even though the food was nasty as hell, that was the nastiest. That was the nastiest food I ever tasted in my life. If you ever got a backpack from the school and it had food in it, some of this shit was up in there was good, some of it was not. But we was grateful to even get that shit, man. That's why I said, man, because shit, growing up, growing up, you know what I'm saying, it was hard and shit, especially when you, you know what I'm saying, you already struggling as it is and shit. But then you gotta struggle some more, you, then you can't eat. Then you gotta go to school, barely have any food. But they feed you, but shit, that wasn't enough. So just to help, just to help, just to help, we got, just to help, we got between, you know what I'm saying? We got between the, the, the time and shit. It means a lot, to, it means a lot, because you see, 
You get nigga, you get nigga in this bitch today, you know what I'm saying? Moving and stepping in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? And having God on our side, you did. Your boy trying to do big teams in this bitch, man. I, I want to y'all, um, you know what I'm saying? A little bit where, I, where, I, where we grew up on this bitch. Because, you know what I'm saying? Even though, even though people are struggling, and it don't matter if, who it is, if y'all struggling now or in the future, shit gonna get better. That struggle gonna make you, that, that struggling gonna make you stronger. You know what I'm saying? God don't get people's battles without a reason. You know what I'm saying? So y'all niggas struggling or me struggling, you know what I'm saying? It was all meant for something, you know what I'm saying? It's to make us stronger, you know what I'm saying? That's why in the hood, some people got more of a tolerance in anything more than the average person because, you know, so we go through shit. And some people don't. They just, some people be bubbled in, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, when you really in the shit, you know what I'm saying, I be showing y'all niggas a little bit of my life and shit, how, how it was to grow up in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? This shit was crazy as hell, man. A lot of fighting, a lot of popos, a lot of shooting, and a lot of um finessing, you know what I'm saying? But then, but, but between all that shit we was doing, you know what I'm saying, there was, there was actually cool people who was trying to help us out, you know what I'm saying, and not trying to fuck us over, you know what I'm saying? Because they could easily say, man, these kids are bad as hell. Just lock these motherfuckers up and throw them away, you know what I'm saying? But nah, they were like, man, let's get this park program, get this food out. I mean, they been doing this, not like just because of us, but you know what I'm saying? They, they could have been like, man, fuck these kids, you don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? And not do the park program. Then we'd be hungry in the summer. Then we would have been hungry in the summer because we would have had nothing to eat, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything works out for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? They they then they starting to then they starting to fix shit in the, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? They use they use they usually not fix it in the hood. You know what I'm saying? The the food was the, the best thing you can get. The little the little bitty food, processed food, that's the best thing you can get. If you were trying to get your the street fixed, you were trying to get lights in this bitch, you were trying to get your house fixed, you were trying to get some shit and exterminate. You was not you was not if you in the hood, man. They is not helping out with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We are very blessed to even get the food. You know what I'm saying? I noticed somebody behind the scenes was trying to get, the, get rid of the food or get rid of the program. So, you know, a lot of shit does be happening. But, it, it, but you know what I'm saying? Just This just this video just to show y'all niggas, man, even when y'all at y'all lowest moment or y'all feel like Eric, you struggling, ain't no getting better, life going to get better, you dig? We going to get better in this bitch and shit. See, that struggle just for a minute, you dig? After you got that struggle, bro, the rest and the reward is finna be legendary. You did so. Um, I just wanna let y'all know, know y'all kings and queens. Y'all niggas keep on pushing, man. And there is some people who be helping out people and shit. So you gotta always remember the people who helped y'all during the times and shit. So shout out to the people who helped me out during over here in the hood and shit. When a nigga didn't have no goddamn food, when a nigga was starving. Nigga, was, stomach was touching my motherfucking back. I was eating the motherfucking syrup sandwiches left and right or ramen noodle sandwiches. <laughs> I came up in this bit or the school or the, the parade on Martin Luther King Street. And we had, and we had grub out, man. But make sure y'all like and subscribe this bitch up and fuck with your boy. There's, uh, there's more times where we went to other places so I can visually show y'all niggas, but this is just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We're here for a reason, our season. So make sure y'all like and subscribe this bitch. Come back to this video and fuck with your boy out this bitch. This is. Hey, Dad, you know what I want. We need to talk about this shit. Be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it. So, pull that everywhere.